Hi guys, I thought I would uh, show you this repair that I've had to do for the BSA engine because it's a slightly unusual fix. Um, the problem I had was that this uh, hole down here in the crankcase had a strip thread and um, I wasn't able to use a normal helicoil sort of type kit to repair it because if you see this hole here, it was like this one and it's got this little locating tube that protrudes out of the uh, crankcase. So if I had sort of repaired it in the normal way, it would the hole would be too large to be able to hold the uh, locating tube. So what I'm going to have to do is go on the lathe and create my own thread insert, just like a normal helicoil kit, but also with a built-in locating sort of stem that comes out of it. Um, what I've done so far in the crankcase is I've here you can see it's larger there. I've um, drilled it out to uh, fit a 10mm metric thread and then I'll have to uh, create a thread insert that uses the I think it's uh, 26 BSF thread which is uh, stands for British Standard Fine. I just want to show the uh, thread up a little bit closer. Um, as you can see there's the uh, 10 mil metric thread. What I've had to do is, um, not sure if it shows up too well, but just for about 3 mil, just on the inside, um, I've drilled out the thread to the sort of full outer diameter of the thread. Um, I've done this so that on the thread insert I can make a little collar that will sit against the start of the thread just inside there so that I can sort of screw it in and it will lock at a certain point rather than screwing all the way through and out the other side of the uh, thread that I've made. Um, and because of this it means that the locating stem will protrude a fixed amount out from the crankcase as I want it to. Okay so I've turned the outer diameter down and put the external thread on it. Um, it was quite a coarse thread to cut and you can see it was uh, spinning around in the jaws a little bit there but uh, got it done in the end. Um, so I used a 10 by 1.5 thread, it's a metric thread. Um, so the next step to do is to drill a centre hole, drill through and then tap it for the original thread for the crankcase which was a quarter by 26 BSF which is um, British standard fine thread so um, I'll show you that in a sec okay so now I have drilled the center and tapped it for the original bolt now I've got to part it off but I'm going to have to try and build in the locating sort of stub that sticks out of the uh, crankcase um, to make that a sort of one solid piece. Okay, so here's the finished thread insert. So as you can see from uh, here to here, you've got the uh, 10 mil metric thread. Um, this little section here, I just used a parting off tool to cut in to get rid of the runoff that you get from the uh, die. This little bit here is the collar that I was talking about. Um, that sits, so this edge here sits flush with the edge of the engine block. Um, as you can see, it's got the same outer diameter as the threads, but when you get the sort of smaller inner diameter parts of the thread, that will hit against this surface here and stop it from being able to wind any further. So from here out is the locating tube that will sit proud of the uh, engine block. This little bit here I uh, just cut a little bit too deep with the parting off tool but um, this bit here still works perfectly fine to sort of locate the uh, crankcase. So if I spin it around inside you can see the uh, 26 by quarter inch BSF thread that the uh, original bolt uses. So now I'm going to lock tight that into the engine block and uh, see how it all fits. Okay, so here you can see the uh, finished thread lock tighted into the engine block. Um, so as you can see, there's the uh, 
the collar that I was talking about and it's sitting flush with this surface here so I can put the engine block on it won't be sort of held out any further because it's sitting flush but it means I've got this sort of set amount of um, locating tube protruding from the crankcase to match up with the crankcase cover. Okay, so I've got the crankcase cover sort of test fitted for now. Um, as you can see, the uh, crankcase cover is sitting flush with the engine block and lined up perfectly well. Um, it was a bit of a tight fit on the locating sort of tube that I made, but uh, it still sort of lines up perfectly square and stuff, so no problem there. Um, so yeah, if you found this video useful, then uh, give it a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do. I'll be hoping to get this engine up and running fairly soon, along with the other ones. Now the weather's getting a bit better here, I hope to be getting some more videos out more regularly. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.